Rangers don't want to lose any more players. Christie has to sit, and that is not a good thing when your team is hobbling around. In fact, the orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Alan Hirahara, joins us now this morning to explain uh, some of those injuries that are nagging the Kings and hopefully how bad they are, see how quickly they can get back on the court. Good morning. Good morning. That's right. Good to have you here. Let's just jump in right away with the broken feet. I mean, two Kings guys have, have uh, broken feet. We've got Mateen Cleaves, who had surgery earlier, and then now Mike Bibby just had that done, and uh, they're expecting him to be back, uh, like, in about a month or so. What is that injury? What's that all about? Well, basically what he did was it, he fractured his uh, fifth metatarsal, which is one of these bones here in the foot. The bone basically was broken about in this area right here, and for the most part, it needs to be fixed because in these athletes, this is an area which... Uh, doesn't always heal that well, has a poor blood supply. And so by putting a screw in through the, right through the bone, right through here, so you can really get it to heal up a lot faster and okay. better and more effectively. All right, good. So, so he could make a full recovery from that. Absolutely. That's kind of a common injury in the NBA? Fairly. It's actually more current in uh, people who do a lot of running and jumping. Running and jumping. Okay. And then Peja? Right. Peja also hurting. With the, uh, what, the plantar fasciitis? Right. Now, it's tough for me to say, but I, 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 do you even know what this is? I want to know what that is. It has something to do with the heel, right? Right, exactly. But what it is, the plantar fascia, it's a uh, band of uh, tissue which goes from the here, from the uh, calcaneus over into the mid part of the foot. And so it's kind of a band that stretches like this and kind of helps hold the foot up. So when you kind of come down, it kind of helps keep that arch uh, uh, steady there. Okay. And so what can happen is it can get very inflamed and very painful, primarily right at this insertion point here at this bone. Okay. What can you do surgically to uh, help heal that, or is it just a matter of time? It's mostly time and conservative management with anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, rest, uh, trying to stay off of it. But uh, if you have to, in the very, very worst case scenario, you can release it. But that's something you really want to avoid, especially in these high-level athletes. Okay. And we should mention right now that Paige is okay at this point. That kind of has, you know, subsided. He's feeling right. much better, okay. and he will play. Um, Weber, we'll touch on that real quickly. Sore groin, that's not really your forte there, but how long does something like that take to heal up? He's ready to play tonight too, by the way. Right, that, uh, that's totally variable. That could depend strictly on how severe it is. I mean, sore groin is typically a strained uh, uh, muscle in the groin itself, and that can vary from a couple days to a couple weeks to a couple months. Okay. And then you got uh, Ger uh, Gerald Wallace has a, uh, is it a sprained knee or a strained Spr knee? It's sp yeah, what else is there? Is there a difference, sprained or strained? Right, well actually for this would be a sprained knee. A sprain is basically where you have kind of a tearing or uh, stretching of a ligament which holds a bone to bone to hold it, the uh, knee together. A, st a strain actually refers more to a muscle pull where there's actually a tearing or a rupturing of a muscle. Uh, in this situation, the sprained knee takes time to heal once again. It all depends, though. Some of them actually need uh, surgery, but I think for the kind he has, for the most part, those usually heal about 99% of the time on their own. Okay. And, we're, you know, we're out of here now, but Lawrence Funderburg, we should also mention to you, he has left Achilles tendonitis, and it just sounds bad, but that should be, that, that could heal up. In, in Absolutely. In, in once again, too. conservative management, no opera operation needed, time, rest, anti-inflammatories should get better. There you go. Between the suspensions and the injuries, though, boy, it's going to be an interesting uh, starting lineup tonight. Thanks, Dr. I appreciate can't wait. It. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate it. We should also mention that he is also the doctor of Sac State and the Rivercats as well. Right. Team, team A lot guy. of experience right. in athletics. Okay. Right. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, coming up on this Tuesday morning, we're going to chat with the cast of the movie, The Sum of All Fears. The Fears, my movie.